This is a safety tip brought to you by the Certified Horsemanship Association. My name is Christy Landwehr, and this is my equine partner for the day. He is American Quarter Horse Association gelding Cliff's Edge. So today we are so excited to tell you a little bit more about grooming your horse. And this video today is sponsored by Hands On Gloves. Hands on gloves are a wonderful way to groom your horse instead of having to have the traditional curry comb and the brush. You can now use both hands for a massage for your horse. It stimulates circulation. It's a really good way to get that spring hair off, especially that you know can be a little bit annoying. And most horses just absolutely love these. So we're gonna go ahead and get started today. I love to approach my horse, let him go ahead and give me a little smell, let him know that I'm about to do something. I like to start up at the front of my horse. And I'm going to go ahead and, you know, you can get some serious exercise grooming your horse this way. We can really put our energy into it. Oh, he's already loving it. He says, I love these hands-on gloves. So we go like this. We go ahead and give him an opportunity to really get the itches and the scratches off. We're going to go in front of him on his chest. We're going to go down his neck. And notice how I am facing the front of my horse to keep myself out of any kick range possibility with those back legs. Of course, we want to pay special attention to the girth area. Very important that where our cinch and our girth goes is going to be free of all debris or anything that might have been stuck there from laying down overnight. We're going to, of course, go especially where the saddle pad's going to go and the saddle itself. And with hands-on gloves, you can actually go down the legs of the horse, too, unlike some of your traditional curry combs where you should not do that, but you can do that with a body brush. So we can go down his legs. Notice how when I'm bending down, I'm not putting a knee on the ground. Very unsafe to do so. I'm always at the point where I'm going down like this that I could push off at any time to get away safely. So we're going to continue to go around the horse. We're going to continue to go over his backside and again down his legs, making sure if we're going to go like this that we can push off at any time. We're going to go around him safely and close and we're going to go off to the offside and continue the same thing on this side. So now that I've brushed my horse's entire body, I'm going to go ahead and do his mane and his tail. So here's my mane and tail brush. Now a couple of comments before I start with that. We don't really need to do a whole lot of mane and tail brushing all the time, every time we ride. Sometimes all we need to do is actually just come with our fingers and pick pieces out. If you start to immediately use one of these brushes every single time, it's just like brushing your own hair. Sometimes large chunks of hair come off. So you don't need to do this every single time you ride. So we're gonna go up to him and we're just gonna kinda start at the front and work our way down. Our friend here, Cliff's Edge, he has a pretty short mane, so it's not gonna take very much. And I don't know if some of you at home have horses like this, but he's got a cowlick going on here. So sometimes the mane's gonna be on one side or the other. So you can just kinda brush it as best to your ability. I think one of the most important things is making sure where the saddle goes, that again, this area of the mane is going to be free and clear of any debris, just in case it does get hung up underneath the saddle. Then we're gonna go ahead and go here to the tail. One of the most important things about the tail is understanding how your horse sees. If I look right now at my horse's eye, he can see me if I can see his eye. So you never wanna be directly behind the horse when you brush the tail. You wanna go ahead and realize that your horse has what's called tailbone. The end of this horse's tailbone is right here, so Cliff Edge has a lovely long tail underneath that. You can start if there's any major types of tangles and things by actually doing all of those with your fingers. Again, not using a brush to rip out all that hair. You want to go ahead and start at the base of the tail, move his tail slightly off to the side, again, so I can see his eye, make sure he's very comfortable with it, and then start brushing like this. And again, we're going to brush just like you would your own hair. You can kind of grab here and brush. That way you're not actually pulling on him. It doesn't pull on his base of his tail, and it makes him much more comfortable. So after we're done with that, um, we kind of give an overall look. We would obviously also hoof pick our horse, but we have that in another video that you can watch on our series. This is just an overview of how to groom your horse safely, brought to you by the Certified Horsemanship Association.